Okay. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We're back again. Oh. Here's my Colossus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh. Hi, Maui. I shaved his mane. Yes. Just so oh. he can clean better. Look at oh, so he's so, he is so friendly and he oh. snuggles with me all the time. Ooh, Crazy look at that cat. Face. Look at him. Oh, he's so God. relaxed right now. Looks like he might want to go, but he's like, meh. Yeah. <laughs> You'll call <laughs> me Dart. <laughs> want to hang out with Appa? He's like, no, not really. I only hang out with you when I want to hang out with you, okay, Mom? That's right. <laughs> and right now it's okay. You stay with Appa. <laughs> Just don't chew his horns. <laughs> so hello everyone and welcome back <laughs> we're gonna be watching more legend of Korra today we are on episode 12 of season four and this one's called day of the colossus which oh, i'm wow. assuming is that huge freaking robot I think that, so. it's Mega. almost like there's no way they can defeat this thing yeah, it's, it's insane so era has really gone that's over right the like, it's amazing to accomplish something so grand. I mean, holy crap. And not like, to have anyone know about wow. it, except for the fiance probably knows about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it does not look good, and we know that she can earthbend and metal bend, I should say, inside that robot. But outside, oh, yes. platinum, yeah. you know, uh, I'm sure she really thought of everything, because even, like, not telling people about this whole weapon, she only told her inner people that were building it, her fiance. Um, she wouldn't even tell Julie because she knows. Yeah. You know, she's right. very, well, it goes so far. That. That's right. She covers Julie everything. had no idea about it. She's yeah. Like, clueless. Not cool. And now That's I'm right. curious what her fiance is going to think. Yeah, bizarre. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh I'm God. really curious because he was so faithful and like, you know, we're in love. And I do believe Kuvira to a certain extent, again, like how she acted last time. <laughs> Oop, and he just spilled his food all over the place. Oh, look, this was a good one. I heard that. Oh, that was a dinner bell. You might have seen it on the mirror <laughs> one, but. <laughs> so I think she did care that um, she was killing him because she did look down for a second and her eyebrows twitch and she seemed to kind of you know, care, but she has a purpose and yeah, this is bigger like, than that. Yeah, all, it's, it's, all it's about for the greater purpose. good. Mm -hmm. That's right. The so I wonder how her. he's going to be now. I wonder if he's going to be in denial and be like, I can't believe it and just still no. deny it and still go with her or he's going to be like, all right, she's a little crazy and this isn't yeah, good. He's going to hide behind Cora and say, help me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm really yeah. afraid of her now. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, you know, and yeah. I do like what Cora said last time as well. Like she was trying to find a way to intimidate him and love was the way to do it. But love mm -hmm. on the other side was not the same thing. That's right. Yeah, I guess not. Because mm -hmm. he didn't want to be away from his fiance. Mm -hmm. But when it came down to her purpose, she's like, yep, you have to go. Yeah, you're, you know, right. well, yeah. you're bad. Yeah, so it doesn't I'll go both ways that way. <laughs> right. But yeah, it's a cool idea again with this Colossus. And it is, it makes me feel like anime. You know, it has that massive feel to it. and But it is kind of believable. I mean, it's really insane, and I'm scared. Like, that weapon that's even there, on that weapon. Over oh, that is <laughs> insane. Is. Like, yeah. how do you hide that? It had to be laying down for the longest time. Like, how would you hide something like yes, that? Yes, like, on the train or something. Yeah. Like earth bend around it to make train. a mountain. Yeah, or, or that. <laughs> but a lot of work, a lot of people had to help make that, and you can't metal bend it. I mean, maybe some of the components inside of it. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking... Again, we're not reading the description. We always have to say that because they do right. spoil sometimes. But I'm wondering if they have to somehow, obviously, infiltrate the inside. So maybe break yes. the window and get inside. Hey, yes. Somehow. Because there's so there's huge. Gotta be it's just... something that they can do because otherwise Republic City is doomed. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. doomed. Even the armies. Everyone's Remember the armies doomed. were just waiting? I know. <laughs> they they look like, like pitiful. Like, right All, All she has to do is... Step bring on. down the exactly. All she, all she has to do is bring down her the big feet and stuff like that. That's right. Everybody. Yeah. Just, I mean, come on. It's just intimidating. Ooh. I mean, that was great how they showed that scale. Like there was no way. I mean, you just look mm. at that and it's meek and weak, and you're just like, um, yeah, they're all gonna die if you don't surrender. So, not good. That's scary. It is. All right, so we're going to make a bet, which you guys probably won't see, but in the mirror, if you guys are watching on Patreon, you might be able to see. I have cat food all over my floor right now, but you might be able to see in that mirror if my black and white cat 
Loki comes in because he already mm-hmm. ate, but he'll eat until he croaks, <laughs> literally. Oh, yeah, so I bet he'll <laughs> come in because that was a dinner bell crash. So yeah, that's right. like, yeah, so oh, yeah. I haven't I heard him food. yet. Usually I can yeah. hear him jump off of something. He usually jumps up high somewhere to go to sleep, so I haven't heard him jump down. You have a small house, so any kind of jumping you can hear. So, <laughs> Anywho, so we'll see if you guys want to pay attention to see when you see a black and white cat come in. And oh, I'll maybe. let him eat some because he's a good boy and he's on a good diet. But anyways, um, he can have a few snacks. Hopefully he doesn't puke it up, though, because he doesn't eat hard food that much. So, Day of the Colossus. Are you guys ready? We're ready. We're ready. I'm so sad it's at the end of the series. Oh. Yeah. Episode 12. Oh, look at the devastation. All those hummingbird oh, things. Sheesh. Yay, Bolin. Run. Ooh. Oh, sheesh. Whoa. Good job. <laughs> Just right through the water sheesh. waiting. Right the water. Look at that. Okay. Oh, good. Go out to the head. Nobody's coming for you. Yeah. Head for the mountains. Okay. Yeah, I talk. <laughs> Very true. Okay. Blue. <laughs> oh, balloons. Like oh, with paint. Color? You said with paint, uh-huh. right? Oh, yes. Yeah. Ah, blind them. Oh. Uh-huh. Move, though. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. Oh. We're into a building. Oh, boy. And it's slow. She's swatting them? Yeah. Good job, Milo. Oh, see that? Whoa, oh, he's coming through. Oh, my gosh. Whoa, wait. Oh. oh, it has yeah. of course of it everything. Has <laughs> nice. Yeah, I guess so. Can you melt it? Ooh, ooh. Please, please. Look at this teamwork. Mm-hmm. That's right. Can it get. Ooh. Oh, wow. Shout going to get. Holy it. crap! Just took out the whole top of the city. Do you really need oh. the city at this point? <laughs> Oh, oh, she's nice. brutal. Yeah. Oh, gosh. How far does that beam go to? Like, how many other things did you do? Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, darn. And of course. She's gonna be and this right is what there. you want. <laughs> Watch out, guys. Oh, gee. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, hey. <laughs> Excellent. Come on, Mom loves hummingbirds. Oh, oh. If it does the work. <laughs> Please. <laughs> yes. Remember, she's sensitive. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I love how he thinks. Don't <laughs> It's going to be something different. Oh, okay. Are you going to compare her to that? Yeah, my, my goodness. Look at her. She's a friend. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Fabulous. Oh. <laughs> Don't step on oh. them. Does she care enough to, like, just step uh, on them? say you're useless now. You can. You've got to know something. Oh, he's back. Hmm. Go COVID on her. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's so positive. <laughs> Yes. Came in handy. Oh, 
Oh, oh you have, no you have another so one? I think we better do it now. <laughs> Get out of there. I can just shoot you guys. That's good they have him now. A little low. He should be up higher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't have done like a direct oh, yeah. attack. Nice. Oh, ah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <gasps> to a kid. Ooh. Sure, hit your okay. own head. That's great. Nice. Come on, Milo, save Papa. You gonna fart? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't that. Yes. Okay. Get out, get Better out. Move, Daddy. Oh, oh, he just went right over him. Timber. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Good luck with that. Ooh, good. She's crushed. Here she goes back up again. Yeah, she's going to go a little crazy. Oh, look at that. She's mad. Oh. <laughs> she's loving it. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> no. <laughs> Back it away. Back it up. <laughs> That's uh, right. They've got a plan. And he's actually singing it literally. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Ooh, oh, they're oh, smart. Oh. Back around. <laughs> right, oh, look for that. that. Hero. Yay. <laughs> Oh. Huh. I'm glad he came around too. Yeah, me too. Maybe Lynn will give him a second no. chance if he gets Not like a pet. What? What? Does that have do the blue? Thing? Oh. oh my goodness. Just so you're not a pet. Do the thing to the rest of us. Such a bitch. Oh, that it. was great. Oh, that was sweet. I was like, what? Gonna ruin the city and say, "Oh, never mind. I don't want it anymore." <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see these things hey, in action. Let's do it. Cool. Oh, <gasps> watch out! Watch out! Oh, Go a little farther down or something. Armpit. The crotch. <laughs> and then freeze it. Freeze it. That's right. Mm. Yeah. <gasps> Who's that? Ooh. Oh, took down somebody, Derek. Okay, you got one spot. Oh, no. It's falling. Freeze it up more. Uh oh. Daddy. I had oh, a feeling. Gonna stay? Yeah. Just letting her go. Oh, oh gosh. Oh. What a way to go. Oh, wow. Come on, come on, come on. Bam. Yeah. Oh, oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, yeah, yes, naturally. No. Oh, gosh. I was so sad about Asami's oh. dad. Yes. It was, but, you know, it was very noble of him. I had a feeling him. it was going to happen. Did you? Yeah, just before. You mm. know, sometimes I feel like that, but... In that case, I didn't, but yeah, like when they usually say stuff like I love you and they rekindle or they just like resolve any issues yeah, that they had, I always have a feeling that, okay, well, something might happen. But yeah, I, I didn't see him dying I like didn't that. see him either. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was going to be a nice rekindling of their, you know, relationship. Yeah. And like Varric and Julie, that was... It was out of the blue! That was out of the blue as well. So, <laughs> We knew they had a thing for each other, at least yeah. Julie did, but how fun was that? Because Derek was kind of airheaded about it, but that was the humor of it. And then him relating her to an ostrich horse. So I'm like, don't do that. Oh it's not God. a pet. I get it. I love my, God. I mean, they're family too, my fur babies, but don't relate someone you love to a fur baby. It's just a different <laughs> yes, love. Right. <laughs> but he went right into it at that point. Oh, like, holy crap. Wow. So not yeah, even like, right. I actually do kind of like you. It's like, no, I want to marry you. So it's like a whole love 
something. Like it's always been there. So oh that was God, fun. Yeah. So I got so excited there. But at the same time, I was like, okay, I actually did think maybe one of them is going to die now because now oh they had a happy, God, yeah. you know, get together mm -hmm. kind of thing. But uh, but that was sweet. I really enjoyed that part. It was, was because really he knew yeah. he knew that he was in love with her, and he he got the inkling that she was in love with him, and he's just mm -hmm. like, you know what? Yeah, that was good. I'm just short. Let's just, for it. He's always, he is so right. smart. I say he's airheaded, like he's really smart, but he's not like a normal person. Like he's always out there and thinking of all yes, these he's ideas. Very like he's right. not yeah. in the now, you know. Like yes. or he is, but he's not thinking like normal stuff that everyone else like sees. And yeah. but he did see it. We just didn't read him that way, and he just didn't know how to like communicate it. So that was great. That was perfect. Yeah, it was a little oh, awkward. Yeah. yeah, and he just like threw it out there. So that was good. Wow. And yeah. it was a spirit ring or something. It was green yes. or something. It was like Vine. Yeah. So he must have made that when he was building the machine. So he's been thinking about it for well, a while, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Oh, that yeah, was so yeah, sweet. Yeah, At that the ready. Yeah. Something happy, something sad. I mean, it was happy too that Asami was able to forgive her dad and, yes, right. he, and they worked their one last project i love right. you yeah really worked on a project good. together uh, and he was proud of her and what she did there and wow i wish he didn't okay. stay like did he really have to stay to do that like he could have ejected both of them but maybe he not had, he had to open exactly. it up that he yeah, had the last final yeah. portion or yeah, something he's got to because otherwise oh. there's no way they can take this Mecca suit down. Yeah. This was intense. Like, again, last <laughs> second to last episode. And I feel like it needed more time because there were so many things going on. And mm -hmm. the show was great anyways because every episode's like packed full of stuff. But this one, I was like, ah, oh, like there were so many things to yeah. take in. And it ended so quickly. It was like, oh no, so only one more episode. And Milo was thinking about the paint and the balloons and stuff. Very like that. smart. Yeah. Everyone yes, was, it was working so was well. Very together. smart. Yeah, yeah, working really well. And that was a great idea. And I was thinking, because airbenders, I mean, I love them being a focus too. Like, they're the ones taking out this big machine, this mecha machine, right? And That's right. Um, they're more invasive, gentle, but they have some pretty powerful moves, right? And I thought that was a gentle solution using the paint to blind them. Yeah, it was easy, quick, and effective. Yeah, yeah I sure wish was, yeah. Cora being there, I know she had a different plan on attack, but I wish she was able to waterbend or something and waterbend yeah, the water bend sprayers them. away yeah. so that way they couldn't wash off the paint because certain yeah, paints dry, yeah. not that fast, but you know, are harder to rinse off once they're applied and drying. And then yeah. the airbenders Air could have just like blowed really yes. like, a lot to yeah. really dry the paint. Mm -hmm. So it would have been a lot harder. But yeah, Did like help? Help? And, yeah, and taking down the ideas. building to mm -hmm. squash the mecha suit. That was great idea. Was yeah. Great Barrick's idea. idea about taking the smaller suits down with mm -hmm. electromagnetized. That mm -hmm. was great. That was smart. Yeah. We're seeing so much teamwork, a lot of minds coming together here to take down this ultimate evil, right? And That's it's right, yeah. tough. I love seeing the gravity of it all, too. Even with Bolin, Lin, Sue, like everyone earthbending this huge building, like like ripping a part of the building off to actually right. knock it over onto this machine. And you can feel like how much strength it's taking for all of them and their master benders to take this That's and... Right push it over so that was intense too like i love these scenes and even the air bending moves like pushing the machine over how heavy that is mm -hmm. making it lose its balance all this extreme bending and also with boland and lava bending too with the feet when yeah the lava yeah, bending yes. that helped out that's a lot right. and that's that's right. in the tracks for a bit it did, and I was hoping it could do more, but it's showing us how massive, like how much of a challenge this is, because I was hoping yes, at least one definitely. foot would be melted. I don't know, platinum would, I, I think anything in lava, I think would melt over time, mm -hmm. but I was hoping oh, that at least one sure, foot man. would be destroyed, where it would be hard to get around, and she'd be like moving, but then the yeah, animation might yeah. not be more of a challenge, you know? And Prince Wu, Prince yeah. Wu did great. He mm -hmm. was... I right. like the singing. Oh my god. <laughs> totally like a soccer moment. That's what Saka did with the badger rolls, remember? <laughs> I love K with two lovers. Oh that was god, great yeah. with the hippies and stuff. That was so good. <laughs> yeah. But it was like that. And he did step up. He really did. Yes, he did. Didn't he? Mm -hmm. He yeah, actually put himself good. in front of the people to protect them. It was a silly mm -hmm. moment, but he was stepping up. He wasn't being cowardly. He could have hit behind everyone. Yeah, good for him. And like hitch a ride on the badger moles, try to take off or something. But he stayed in front of the people to protect them. So that was good. Yeah. 
He did. And he said who he was. And he's like, take me. He knew he had a plan. But Mm -hmm. still, I mean, to do that in case the plan doesn't work, he has to go with them. Yeah, they have extreme machines. They could shoot you. They could do, I mean, I know they won't go that violent, I guess. But we do see people die in the show, hence this one. But yeah, like anything could happen to him. So that was a big risk that he did. And how smart, because I know badger moles are smart, but they don't always like try to protect people. So for them to actually know his plan and he just starts singing literally about what's going on. and they Like just... that song means go up behind them and get Yeah, them exactly. Them. So <laughs> they got that worked out in their favor, his favor. Yeah. So that was uh, still a lot of fun to watch. So I'm glad he's really stepping up and I really couldn't see him leading at all. And even though he's being a good person, it doesn't really mean that he's a leader per se, but he is making leader type ideas right. or choices right now. So that's good. Yeah, and he hasn't even been with Mako. I mean, he doesn't even need Mako yeah. anymore. No, Although we sure love you, Mako, would. but that's very good. He has yeah, to be independent. No, he he really fantastic. has to be. So what did you guys job. think of the um, hummingbird machines? I thought I, there were bees. <laughs> bees. <laughs> I said bees, and I said, oop. I thought they were, well, they looked more like the head of a dragonfly more than the hummingbird. But yeah. hey, they worked. I mean, it's it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, it was. Mm-hmm. I can see the prototype. I'd like to see the real ones in action, unfortunately. I know. Yeah, destroyed. Like that. All that work because... just to have Sami them destroyed. is a brilliant engineer. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was pretty cool. And so different, too, like to have a hummingbird type movement. Because they can move in all directions. They can move faster. So I was curious how quick they could maneuver around the ray. And they could maneuver pretty quickly. Like, at first, like, they were kind of just hovering around. But that's what hummingbirds do. And then when, like, crap hits the fan or you have, like, (laughs) the ray going after them, they just dodge it really fast. So that was pretty cool to see. And to move out of the way before they got hit. Yeah. Thankfully, the mecha suit was going a little slower than... Yeah, the show, like how giant right, it is. Yeah. Godzilla. Yeah, like, oh, that's right. Swatting. Thank goodness yeah. for that. Now, an interesting that thing, time. which I know we're not supposed to think of, and I do love the show and the animation, all the thought put into this, because you know they really think of every like possibility and any plot holes and stuff. But the mm-hmm. fact that you can see all around you and you can only see from the top, I don't see any windows around the other you know body parts of the machine. But for them to know exactly, and metal bending too, I know with vibrations, but this is platinum, so how can you feel? vibrations if something's touching a different part like a leg or an arm of the machine and trying to drill through i mean that would take some time so for the machine to react so quickly and get to that point yes it's quickly it, it, it was just like skin that way almost yeah. like it had, or nerves. it had sensors or something yeah it's the only it thing i could think did. of and this is such a crazy machine who knows so i would oh, just yeah. assume it had sensors elsewhere because mm-hmm. that would be a great weakness if they could only see above because oh, yeah, how would you know if something's crawling on you? Like, ding, right. ding, ding. Like, they were tying around. Yeah. Like, they oh, must have legs. sensors. And how long would it take for yeah. someone to get over there? Unless they have a ton of people all over the body inside of it, you mm-hmm. know, hanging out, like, listening for anyone trying to get in. Mm-hmm. But, anyways, I am glad they were able to, and hopefully they could do some great damage inside of it. I mean, Bolin, was he in there? I mean, we had Sue. He went in there with Cora. Okay, mm-hmm. Bolin was in there, because I just keep thinking, like, lava bending, so. if he could, like... I don't, he can't metal bend though, but if there's anything in there that he can lava bend, that would be awesome. I believe he went in there. Yeah. yeah. Again, he would need earth or something though, because he can't just make it out of nothing, right? So that would be really awesome. Mm-hmm. So I'm wondering how they're going to take that out. But they can metal bend inside. So if they could take out Quivira, then we have a lot of good metal benders in there. That's right, yes. <laughs> Uh, so my favorite thing is Julie and Barrick. That was fun. That was, <laughs> that was so that was, that, that, that was so good. <laughs> that was good. I will say it felt a little rushed, but it was adorable. And I would yes. love to see that more than not. Because I know yes, it was building up to that. That's totally Varric. That's totally Varric. He's spontaneous. <laughs> and it's always felt that way. But yeah. it was time. Yeah, so good job. Good. You did yes. the thing. And they'll do the thing for the rest of <laughs> the their lives. Of their lives. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. That was great. And even like that's always been their thing. And even when they're at the top after doing that EMP. Yeah. yeah. He's like, okay, now do the thing. And she's like, I think we're out of things or something. So it's always about that. But she knows if she's so in tune to him that she just knows exactly what he that's means right. all the time. So they're a perfect couple. They are. Yeah, they and I'm are, so yes. sad that the city is just like in shambles. Like, why would you want the city now? Like, what is she going to do to conquer this? Like, She's taking out everything. Out. I mean, She's just holy crap moments. So many of them taking out buildings, like just attacking and taking out all the tops of the buildings. Like, right. hopefully That's no one was so in those horrible. buildings, but just yeah. to take out things like not even caring. 
You're there. Like, what's what's going to be destroyed. her point? What's going to be her like? Oh, I, you I'm doing this me. for the this... good of the people. No, yeah, you're not. You're because the good of the people. <laughs> yes. You're getting rid of all the people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's no balance people. there. It's like this is Earth Kingdom territory. So if you don't agree with yeah. me, I'm just going to kill you. <laughs> right. What's she going to do? Just sit on her mecca in her mecca suit on a mountain? Just say okay. All by herself. That's what I'm saying now. Yeah. It's fun to see her unraveling a bit, though, because yes. um, like that smile that she has, and she's and sweating, and and she's losing that professional, like stoic yes. leadership type yes. role, where and she's like maneuver. always Gosh. like this. You ever notice that the camera most times is like below her, like right here, like she's above it all? I don't yeah, know if you guys noticed that. Like that yeah. A lot of cool shots yeah. that you do of her, and now like she's getting all manic, and like you know, now she's really working hard to try uh -huh. to keep her. Stature, literally. <laughs> so good show. I know we'll have a lot to say next time. I'm so sad that it's almost done. We got one more episode, guys. And one, that's more. It. one more. They do yeah. have or an airbender. Come a long way. She has okay. come a long way. Yes. Yeah, oh look, and there's the last Airbender. We're on Netflix right now, and there's that uh, old M Night Shyamalan movie. I do like M Night Shyamalan. I never say anything to make Mom and Kim like. I don't influence you guys to think another like a certain way. Like, if it's bad or good, certain movies or most movies. But this one was terrible. <laughs> so I told them they're never allowed to watch it. It was on TV the other day, and I really tried to see it for... I mean, it had some love put into it, but it was bad. It was just bad. So, anywho, not talking about that. There is a Netflix show coming out that we can relive and see how they do on that. But that's also another tangent, because I heard more rumors now that they're changing that up you know, from the original, which isn't good. You yeah. have a good story. Leave it alone. Just leave it alone and retell it. Why do you have to, like, change up things? Because then you ruin yeah, things. So the thing that got me was in The Last Airbender by M. Night was he made all the names different. Not all of them, but they... I'm like, why not just keep them the same? Sokka, Sokka. He named him Soka. Oh, I think Katara was the same. And then Aang was Ong. I'm like, his name is Aang. That's an actual name, Aang. Like, huh? call him Aang. So he had a name That's Ong. That's ridiculous. And it just felt like a snub to the original creators because yeah. it's their story. Yeah. So he's like, I'm going to make it my that. own by just like digging it to you and changing their names up. Like, yeah, it's, something yeah, like that kind of got to me. <laughs> I don't know if Appa was Opa or something. I think it was Appa. Oh, but geez. Yeah, it was just weird. Yeah, I didn't like how they changed her. Ira was Eero or something. I don't know. <laughs> so anywho, hopefully Netflix doesn't do that. But I just heard that they are aging up Katara. So now Katara is going to be a lot older than Aang, which is going to be weird because I'm like that. What? <laughs> so we'll see yeah. what happens. I don't know what, yeah, what kind of plan that. they're having yeah. for the show, but we will find out and hopefully it'll be good. That's all we can hope for. And how <laughs> tough and yeah. tough going to be like a 30 year old. <laughs> Maybe she'll be a 30 year old man. Who knows? I hope not. Right, right. Leave them alone. Leave them for who they are. They're pure and that's wonderful. Right, yeah. um, the original it's way. Great characters. That's right. They're great characters and we love them. Yeah. So <laughs> but I do love Netflix. They do. Mostly a good job from everything we've seen so far. We love it. Mm -hmm. So fingers crossed. Thank you guys for watching. Do the thing. 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 Subscribe. Woo! <laughs> love you guys. And we'll see you very soon as always. Bye, guys. Bye. It's almost over now.